Hi everyone, uh, this week we are going to do something really fun. It's called a Zentangle and it's basically just a bunch of patterns on a paper with a really cool design and I'll show you mine. And in my art letter I also have a different, um, a lot of different examples of how you can draw one. And then we're going to use a really fun printing technique to add color to it. So you may not have all the supplies, but that's okay because I'm going to show you a lot of different ways you can do it. Even if you don't have, say, a spray bottle or aluminum foil, I'm going to show you a lot of different ways with the same results. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start my Zentangle. And like step one, you're going to draw two lines from the top of the page to the bottom and two from left to right. The more lines you add and the, the crazier lines that you draw create for an interesting zentangle. I, you can cross them, you can make a loop, you can make any kind of line you want. I'm going to add a zigzag line. Um, and let's see, a kind of more swirly line. Now, in each of these sections that I've just created, I'm going to create my Zentangle pattern. I can look at my, my letter for some Zentangle ideas. I really like this. This one looks pretty cool. Um, all of these are different ideas, or you can just start doodling. The best part about Zentangles is that no one's going to look like yours. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes you don't even have to think. You're just letting your hand and your mind kind of flow. If you add more details to your drawing, the cooler it's going to look. I'm using a pen right now because I cannot find a Sharpie. You do not want to use a marker though. If you use a marker, when we add color to it, the water is going to wash all your markers and kind of blur it. I've tested the pen out, and the pen does a pretty good job of staying per permanent. Oh, man. Um, but a Sharpie is the best bet. I cannot find one. So I'm going to use a pen. No biggie. Um, I can be done with this, and I could move on to another, or I could add even more little designs. Whatever you want to add, you can add. This is your Zentangle, and it's not going to look like anybody else's, and that's the fun part. A Sharpie would be a lot easier, but sometimes you just have to work with what you have. And so if you only have a pen, you can still make it. Uh, here's my progress shot. I'm filling in these circles. I'm taking little breaks from... I got tired of making circles, so I did this checkerboard, and... I'm going to fill up the whole page. Okay, I have one more spot to do. And then I will be done with my Zentangle. I'm really liking this spot right here. Mm -hmm. And I am done. So now I can add color. So there are a lot of different things you can use for your print transfer. Aluminum foil works great, and what's really neat is that you can just rinse it off and reuse it. Um, but I'm also going to try just a piece of uh, plastic, a Ziploc bag too. So whatever your supplies are, you can do it. Now, you can do any kind of design on your uh, foil or bag. It doesn't matter. If you want to experiment with different designs, that's great. Uh, words never really turn out very good because they just blend. So you're going to want to fill up the whole entire aluminum foil. I'm just going to make a little one for my little tiny test sample because I'm going to test it with a simple design before I put it on my Zantangle because my Zantangle took a lot of work. But with my practice one, I just did a little smiley face. <laughs> So, I'm just going to attempt to do a bunch of different things. Now, if you have a spray bottle, I would just mist this, put my paper on it. 
I, I put a smiley face on both sides. Put my paper on it, press down, and lift up and your marker's on it. I don't have a spray bottle though, so I am going to wet my paper down with a paper towel or a sponge. I'm going to wet my paper towel. My paper towel is now wet, but you can see it's not dripping. It's not soaked. I squished all the water out and then I opened it. I'm not going to put this on the foil. I'm going to put this on my piece of paper and kind of rub it so that it's wet. When my paper is completely wet, then I'm going to place it and that water is going to transfer the marker from the foil to my paper. Huh? Yay! The wetter the paper, the better. So I can notice that even though it looks cool, if I didn't want these, I would just wet my paper a little more. So that turned out great, even without a spray bottle. Let's try the others. Here I have my little plastic. Now I've never tried this. I've tried the Ziploc bag, but I've never tried this. This one, it's a little harder to color on, but I think it's going to work the same. I'm experimenting with you. I guess it's just a little harder to see, but it should work the same. Okay, so I've re-wet this uh, paper towel. It's not dripping wet, and, but I'm gonna rub it on my paper. And you can kind of see the wetness on the paper. This is why you don't wanna use a marker for this part because it'll bleed, but a pen or Sharpie works great. Then I'm gonna place it on here, rub it. I sh probably should have gotten more water on that paper towel. Ooh, no. <laughs> I think my problem, my paper wasn't wet enough. But the plastic works great. So if you don't have aluminum foil, use your plastic. It even shows the way I drew it. Um, I would add more water, though, to my paper towel for that experiment. Um, and now I'm going to try the Ziploc bag. Just adding color to my Ziploc bag. Uh, I'm going to add some yellow. Okay, I added a little more water to my paper towel. Uh, I drew my heart left-handed. Let's go ahead and try this. If you don't have any paper towels, you can use a sponge. And I'm gonna try one more way, just by flicking water onto it. Yeah, that works too. So here are, here's my aluminum foil, uh, my, um, I can't think of what this is called right now. And my Ziploc bag. I think this one looks like this just because I didn't add enough water. But they all work great. This is called a monoprint because you can only do it one time. The ink transfers over to the paper and you have to make a new design before you can make another one. But that's what's cool about this is I could just rinse this off with water, let it dry, and do another print. Um, for my last one... I am going to, if I didn't have paper towels, if I don't have a sponge, if I don't have a spray bottle, I'm just going to take a cup of water, uh, dip my fingers in it, and kind of just put it on there, like this. Wherever your water droplets are going to be, will add to your paper. Let me try it. Take my paper, put it on there, rub it. Ooh, that looks cool. It's like watercolor. Make sure I've touched it everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, I might have put too much water. Ah, I put too much water, <laughs> but it worked. That looks really cool. So you can just flick it and it's a little more watery, but maybe that's how you like it. There's all different things you can do. So I'm going to do this to my Zentangle now. I'm going to use aluminum foil just because it's here. So I'm going to get it washed. I'm going to rinse it off and dry it and I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to wet down oops, my Zentangle really well with a paper towel. Uh, this is why you want a pen or permanent marker. Um, wetting it all the way down. I think that is good. And then put my aluminum foil 
over it. I'm getting all the sides loose. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to shake it. I believe I have rubbed all of the aluminum foil on the paper. I'm going to lift it up. How exciting. Ah! Woohoo! <laughs> How fun. Yay! How cool. That is so much fun. Move my stuff. Move it over here. That looks so cool. Yay! I hope you guys have fun. I still love that part. Um, yay! I hope you guys have fun. I hope to see some pictures through my email too because I love seeing the end results. Have fun!